sun, Thomas on a nighttime run, on the tracks round every bend, it's getting dark as daytime ends. Well it's the night, ghosts and goblins play, everyone knows it's a special day, all the trains say ghosts can't be, but all the ghosts just disagree. A ghost that Percy saw. Oopie doopie, run, run, run. You'll be glad when this trip is done. Well, Halloween, down goes the sun. Thomas on a nighttime run. All the trains say ghosts can't be, but all the ghosts just disagree. Skeletons, ghosts, pirates too. Let's dress up so fun to do. The station's such a spooky scene. Blow your whistle this Halloween. After me, whoa, get away, get away. Oh, thank goodness. I'm losing him. <gasps> oh no, I'm trapped. Oversized dodo. Uh, the dinosaur. Where did he go? Dinosaur? You mean that cassowary over there? It's just a big bird, mate. <laughs> but, 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 you told me there were dinosaurs in the rainforest. Well, technically, birds are dinosaurs, Thomas. And there are plenty of birds here. Oh, it's not the same thing and you know it. Cassowaries can be dangerous though. It's best to avoid them if you ever come across one. Although a big engine like yourself probably doesn't have to worry so much. The next day, I was back to work on the Australian Railway with my friend Shane. I really thought I was going to be gobbled up by a dinosaur. Oh, that ace. Of course there aren't any real dinosaurs in Australia, Tomo. But there are dragons. What? Hmm. Look, there's some now. Oh, we better get out of here. What? Oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> Where? I can't see them. Oh, they're gaining on us, Thomas! Whoa! Done, mate. You scared the dragons away. Dragons? Those weren't dragons. Well, they were parenti. They're the largest lizards in Australia, and they're related to Komodo dragons. So, they actually were kind of dragons. Oh, you Australians and your tricks. <laughs> hey, wait up! The next day, I woke Shane up early. Boo! Huh? Happy Halloween, Shane. 
It's so weird that you celebrate Halloween in spring instead of autumn here in Australia. Uh, we don't really celebrate Halloween in Australia, Tomo. But if you want to do something spooky tonight, we can go through the bush after I deliver a goods train. Hmm, I don't know. Haven't you and Ace had enough fun scaring me? <laughs> Come on, Tomo. It'll be fun. So that evening, Shane and I puffed through the bush with Shane's goods train on our way to a small country town. When we arrived, we found a familiar face waiting for us. Hey Ace, you want to join Tomo and I on our way back? We're going through at night for Halloween. Oh, sounds great. Let's go. So, uh, what do you think, Tomo? Scary enough for Halloween? <laughs> Not at all. You should see what the forests on Sodor look like this time of year. Uh, right. But what's the worst thing you can run into on Sodor at night? An angry sheep? We've got all sorts of dangerous animals here in Australia, Thomas. Oh? You think we'll be chased by a koala? <laughs> oh! Ow! Well, no, but my driver did tell me about a very scary animal that lives in these parts. It's called the bunyip. <gasps> the bunyip? <laughs> There's no such thing. Says you. There have been sightings of the bunyip by the first peoples of these parts for thousands of years. It's big. It's scary, and it lives in lakes called billabongs. You know, it's so big, it could probably gobble up a whole engine. <gasps> wow. <laughs> we continued on through the bush for quite some time, when suddenly... Uh, Ace? Shane? Oh, very funny, guys. <laughs> ah, it's the Bunyip! It got Ace and Shane and now it's after me! Nice one, mate. That was too good. Oh, yeah. I hope he knows how to find his way back to the shed, though. Uh, there aren't really bunyips, are there? Uh, don't think so. Then what's that? A bunyip! Oh, oh, you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. But where's Thomas? Thomas? Tomo! You there, buddy? Oh, mate, just what do you think you're playing at? Oh, you gave us a real fright there, Thomas. I almost burst my safety valve. <laughs> Happy Halloween! But when nightfall came, he was sizzling nicely. Suddenly, an owl hooted, and then Gordon thundered by. Oh, look! 
Henry spooked, said a truck, and the others giggled in their silly way. Be quiet, snapped Henry. I'm not scared. But he was. A little later, the fog came down. As they approached the same area, they saw the amber light again. Here we go, said Henry's driver. Then, unbeknown to Henry, the gates mysteriously closed by themselves, and the signal went red. The trucks had seen all, and they were spooked too. Faster, faster, there's a ghost about. Stop, stop, yelled Henry. A mysterious figure watched Henry go by. Ahead was a landslide blocking the line. Henry braked hard, but the trucks hit some of the rubble and plunged into the ravine. It was Halloween on the island of Sodor, and my friend Henry was feeling a little worried. Oh, I don't like Halloween. Why does everything have to be so scary? Is anybody there? Uh, it's okay, Henry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hi, Henry. Ah! Whoa, Henry, wait up. Henry, Henry, wait up. Where are you going? Are we having a race, Henry? What's going on? Ah! Henry! Watch out! Ah! Oh! Honestly, what's gotten into him? Henry! Has anyone seen Henry? Oh, wow. Nice costumes, everyone. Ashima, what are you doing here? I'm visiting for the fall. And what are you all doing? It's Halloween, Philip. Percy, Diesel, and I are taking trick-or-treaters across Sodor. And Ashima and I are delivering candy. Wow! Can I join in? Sorry, Philip. You need a costume to be part of the Halloween parade. Aw, no fair. Out of my way, Philip. <laughs> well, that was a little odd. What are you playing at? Oh, sorry, Diesel 10. Diesel scared me. He and the other engines are part of a Halloween parade. But they said I can't join without a costume. I see. Well, maybe I can make you one. <gasps> you do that for me? I'll try. Hmm. I wonder what kind of costume he'll make me. Ta-da! You're me! Wow! This is the best costume ever! 
Thanks, Diesel 10. I'm going to join the Halloween parade. Have fun. Don't stay out too late. Boo! Don't be scared, everyone. It's me, Philip. I'm wearing a costume Diesel 10 made for me. Isn't it spooky? It's very interesting. <laughs> Diesel 10 made your costume. It looks like he dropped a pile of scrap on top of you and called it a knight. <laughs> I'm not a knight, silly. I'm a big, strong Diesel like Diesel 10. I even have my own claw. <laughs> Philip was so embarrassed, he rolled into a siding all by himself. Meanwhile, Ashima and I were taking trick-or-treaters and candy to the stations. I think we hurt Philip's feelings, Thomas. We shouldn't have laughed at his costume. You're right, Ashima. Maybe we could ask him to be our back engine. Good idea. I'm sure that would cheer him up. Oh, look. There he is. Cooey, Henry! Where did you go? Cooey! Go! Oh no! The bridge is falling apart! <gasps> Thomas and Ashima are heading this way! And the bridge is damaged! I have to warn them somehow. Thomas! Ashima! You have to stop! The bridge is going to collapse! <gasps> that looks like a warning light! Philip, you saved us! Thank you very much! You might say I'm really useful in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, you and your really useful costume prevented a serious accident. As a reward, I'd like you to lead the Halloween parade. And Diesel, I need an engine to bring a repair crew to the damaged bridge. Be quick now. Good job, Philip. Thank you, Diesel 10. Now let's get this show on the rails. <laughs> what was that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Oh. 
We should be quiet, Philip, so whatever is coming this way will simply pass us by. But what is that noise, Edward? It could be anything. Like a ghost. Philip. Or a monster. Philip, shh. Or even a real live zombie. <coughs> Hi, Edward. <laughs> Hi, Philip. Sorry to wake you. I took on some bad coal this afternoon, and now I have this terrible cough. <coughs> oh, for goodness <coughs> sake. It was just Henry. <sighs> Good night, Philip. <sighs> wow, Edward. Wasn't that scary? I was so scared. Were you scared? I bet you were. Brave engines do get scared sometimes. I'm a brave engine too. Did you know I was Diesel 10 for Halloween? I... It was a dark and spooky night, and my friend Percy and I were happily delivering the mail until we heard a strange sound. It's, it's a, a monster! monster. Thomas? Percy? What's wrong? Faster, Percy! We can't let it get us! I'm going as fast as I can, Thomas! I hope it isn't a monster! There's that sound again! Hurry, Thomas! What if it's a ghost? Oh no! Whoa! Oh! We're trapped! Oh! Don't worry, you two. That noise you heard probably came from one of my passengers. That was pretty silly of us. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a snake and an elephant. But now we're running late! <coughs> oh dear, Sir Topham Hat will be cross when he finds out the mail was late. Yuck! What's that smell? It's the flying kipper, Thomas. You're not afraid of a few fish, are you? I'm not afraid of anything, Henry. Well, if these fish don't scare you, I have a story that might. It all started when Paxton was delivering a strange crate. Yikes! Paxton, are you all right? Hey! Did you hear that, James? It sounded like something landed on the roof. Oh, Thomas, you and your imagination. It was probably the wind. Uh-oh. Yikes! Meanwhile, Gordon and Spencer were having a race. Ha-ha! <laughs> Looks like I won the race. No, you didn't. It was clearly a tie. Do you mind? Yeah! These trucks are pushing me!
Have no fear. Young Bao is a here. Thank you, Young Bao. Tonight you prove that you're almost as useful as I am. Young Bao? So the mischievous minis multiplied in numbers. It seemed like all the engines on Sodor had turned into minis. All except. Garden gnomes. <gasps> oh no, they're after me. <laughs> like the coast is clear. But where can I go? Coast! That's it! I'll go to Brendam Docks and catch a ship before all the engines are turned into minis. But how do I get out of here? Harvey! It's a good thing they haven't turned you into a mini yet. Uh, time to go. <gasps> hmm. I wonder what these crates are for. Percy, get inside! <laughs> oh, Salty. What are we going to do? All of the engines on Sodor are being turned into minis! Fear not, Liarty. I know an old sailor's remedy for this, and it's inside that truck. Trouble is, it's marooned out there, and none of us have been brave enough to fetch it. Then I guess it's up to me. Cranky, lift that crate. I'm going to get that truck! <laughs> Get back over here, quick shot! Craggy, grab that crate! Is that... fish?
smelly fish as a remedy? What a silly idea! I don't know, Thomas. I think you'd be surprised how much smelly fish can come in handy. Where's Thomas and Percy? <gasps> the mail was an hour late this evening. Oh, goodness me. Perhaps this can wait until morning. All right. Maybe smelly fish can get an engine out of trouble now and then. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing, Shima. Captivating, suspenseful, scary. What? You all started without me? I'm sorry, James. I guess we forgot about you. But I love your costume. Not to worry. I have a story to tell. It was a dark and misty night. The moon was full while the engine traveled home. As he crossed the old bridge, the haunted river snatched him away into the mist, never to be seen again. Oh, pa! Like that could ever happen. I hate to spoil the party, but a stone train needs to be taken up to the end of the line. Hmm. I think Ashima would love to do it. Great. This job needs two engines, so you two can take it together. I don't need her. I can do this by myself. <whistles> Goodbye, Ishima. Oh, and watch out for the river bridge. What? James? James, wait! Oh, oh, oh! That's not so scary. Ah! Ghost! The line is haunted! Ashima! What can I do? I don't know, but I think these trucks are going to drag me off the bridge! James, use your trucks to anchor you! Back up!
can do it. Thank you, Ashima. I'm sorry I tried to leave you behind. You're a very clever engine for saving me. You're welcome, James. But it was your idea to use the trucks to stop you. Besides, now I have a new costume, too. <laughs>